all right guys proceeding with the next part right proceeding with the next part guys that is how will you distinguish between alkane alkane and alkyne right so i have just written a few steps for you all to make the things easy first we are going to add three different things and these are the three tests for distinguishing between alkane alkene double bond and alkyne first if i add a few drops of bromine solution i add a few drops of bromine solution in carbon tetrachloride to alkene to alkene no change is observed bromine which is reddish brown it remains reddish brown so if you add bromine droplets in carbon tetrachloride to any alkene there is no change observed no change okay if i'm talking about alkene the reddish brown color of bromine decolorizes yeah bromine is reddish brown like nitrogen dioxide so i will say the reddish brown the reddish brown color of bromine decolorizes even in alkyne same reddish brown color decolorizes so obviously i cannot use bromine solution to differentiate between alkene and alkyne because it gives the same result so let's go further add a few drops of alkaline potassium permanganate solution to the hydrocarbon now again in alkene there is no change sorry no change alkene may the pinkish purple color of potassium permanganate okay pinkish purple yeah it's it's just written purple color it's thoda pinkish purple the purple color of 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 alkaline potassium permanganate fades away so the purple color in both huh, fades for both so again i can't use this solution to distinguish between alkene and alkyne ha alkene ke sath you can do it but now when you add a few drops of ammoniacal cuprous chloride solution yeah that is cucl is ammoniacal cuprous chloride solution to a hydrocarbon alkene mein there is again no change visible alkene mein bhi there is no change visible but in alkyne okay alkyne you get a red precipitate of copper acetylide you get a red ppt of copper i'll just write it out here copper acetylide yes right with this so guys i can say that if you want to distinguish between alkene and alkene you can use the first two solutions the ones which i have written in red and green if you want to distinguish between alkene and alkyne compulsorily you'll have to use the last solution then only you'll be able to make it out that which is alkene which is alkyne